I have this thing about glass cups. I hate them. I like to drink from plastic cups only. And so Sam recently went to Vegas and uh, she got me this as a souvenir because she said, I know how much you love your plastic cups. <laughs> Hey guys, it's V, and today we are doing another lasting impression review. I am going to be doing it today on the Colossal Big Shot Tinted Primer from Maybelline. So I've tried plenty of primers for my lashes on my channel. I've tried the Sills Booster, which is one of my favorites from Lancome, but it is very expensive. I've also done a video on the L'Oreal Voluminous one, which I can link in the eye for you guys if you'd like, but I've never tried a tinted lash primer before. All the ones that I've tried have been white and then you put your mascara over it. So this one is from Maybelline. It costs $8.49 at Ulta and it is in the color black. I believe it only comes in this color. That would make sense. But uh, yeah, so I'm really excited to try this out today because lash primers really, I feel like make a difference for my eyes. I feel like they make them a lot more um, thicker, like voluminous. I wouldn't say they really add much length. I think that the mascara on top really adds the length, but we are going to test it out today. I'm going to do one eye with it, one eye without it so that we can see number one if it does anything and number two if it changes the wear time and that's it so yeah <laughs> let's go ahead and read what Ulta has to say about this it's very a uh, crazy packaging it's really throwing off my camera so I think I'm going to take it out of frame for a second here and it says on the details Maybelline's Volume Express the Colossal Big Shot Tinted Primer preps eyelashes for easy mascara application the Big Shot brush features unique wavy bristles that cradle lashes while the collagen formula delivers bold volume length and thickness for a fanned out fringe look it is ophthalmologist tested suitable for contact lens wearers tinted primer preps eyelashes for mascara application the brush catches all lashes even the tiniest ones quick drying and buildable application leaves lashes feeling soft and supple so in terms of how to use it says step one sweep the big shot brush from root to tip let dry and follow with big shot mascara repeat to build even bigger volume so you can layer this as well what it's saying. I'm probably not going to do that today and I'm also not going to use the Big Shot mascara because honestly I don't really like the formula of that one. I am going to be using my favorite mascara combo which starts out with the Maybelline Lash Sensational which is one of my absolute favorite mascaras ever and then I'm going to put just a small coat of the Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal because this one is waterproof so it keeps my lashes from transferring throughout the day. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to zoom you guys in. We can see what this is gonna do for my lashes. I feel so naked right now without my mascara on, but uh, this is what the packaging looks like up close so you guys can see it. It's very bright, very fun. Definitely very similar to the Colossal Big Shot mascara. And you can see the little wand down there. Let's see what this says. It says, intensify your Big Shot look with lash enhancing black fiber primer. So this has fibers in it apparently. Prime lashes by placing the brush at the base of the lashes and gently sweep up the tip. Wait a few seconds for formula to dry, then follow up with the Colossal Big Shot mascara. Mascara. Like I said, I'm not going to be using that mascara. I'm going to be using my favorite combo because a lash primer, in my opinion, should be able to work with any mascara. So let's go ahead and take it out of the packaging here and let's get to applying it because I'm very excited to see how this is going to work. So this is what it looks like out of the packaging. I really like it. I love the bright silver and gold. That is super duper fun. Let's take it out of the wand here and see. Oh, okay. I can see fibers. Let's see if you guys can see them. Can you see fibers in there? I definitely see quite a bit of fibers, which kind of freaks me out a little bit. I'm not gonna lie because fiber mascaras are not usually my favorite thing of life, but we are gonna try it out and we're gonna see how it works. So I think to start out, I'm gonna use this eye with the primer and then this eye without the primer, just so that we can see if this really does make a monstrous difference. Oh my gosh, all those little fibers are freaking me out right now. But okay, let's go ahead and apply just said to wiggle it on like a normal mascara so that's what we're gonna do I don't really see the fibers attaching to anything it kind of just looks like a normal mascara like usually when I put on a white tinted primer you can tell that it's really like thickening up the lashes but I don't really know if this is thickening them I feel like it's just kind of coating them you know what I mean SB do you have to eat right now Okay, so let's go ahead and go onto the bottom lashes as well because I definitely want to see how this wears on the bottom lash line also. Yeah, I really don't see the fibers attaching to my lashes. I don't know if you guys can see better than me, but 
I mean, I'm up close here and I really don't see that. I see a little bit, like a tiny bit, but not, not really like doing anything. These fibers are kind of like really long. I don't know. It's really, really interesting, but okay. So I'm just gonna do like one more quick little coat here. Just to make sure we've got it completely coated on there. Okay, so that is what it looks like with just the primer on compared to nothing on my eyes. So I mean, it looks just like I have a little bit of mascara on. So I mean, it's not bad, but we're just gonna let it dry here for a second and then we will apply my mascara right on top. Also, please excuse my ratchet nails. I'm gonna be painting them today. <laughs> okay, so now that it has had some time to dry, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Lash Sensational and see what it does on top of this because I am intrigued. I do like the fact that it's black because that means that I don't have to worry about covering up white when it comes to primer. I mean, I feel like it kind of gave my lashes some more um, depth a little bit. Um, we'll be able to see more when I do this eye without the primer so you guys can really see what it looks like, but I feel like that actually did pretty good on that eye, so that's good. I'm actually going to use the waterproof mascara on my lower lash line because that's what I always do because it smudges on me, so I just always go in with that kind of um, mascara on the lower lashes. So let's go in with the Voluminous Lash Paradise down here. All right, so that is one coat of mascara over the primer compared to absolutely nothing on this eye. So I think what I'm gonna do now is go in on this eye with just the mascara and see if we get any difference. Because right now I'm not mad at how this looks. This looks really pretty. I usually do two coats of mascara, um, two coats of non-waterproof and then a coat of waterproof on top. So we will do that and we will see how this works. Okay, so already I do feel like it did give some length, like just from this little tiny bit of application. I can I can definitely see how the primer helped to give me more length on this side. And this is usually my longer side, like my lashes are usually a little bit longer on this side just to begin with. And I feel like the lash primer really got in that inner corner and got like all of my lashes, so that's really good too. Okay, so that's the difference between one coat on the top and the lash primer. I honestly see a little bit of a difference. I don't know if you guys can see, but I do see that this side looks a little bit longer and a little bit fluffier, like a little bit more voluminous on that side. So that's pretty cool so far. This thing is doing its job. Let's go ahead and go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous on the lower lashes. My lower lashes in general are pretty sad little lashes, so... Anything that can make them look better, I'm okay with. But so far, I'm not really seeing much difference on the lower lash line, really. Um, the upper lashes, I do definitely see a difference, though. Okay, so that is both eyes completely done with one coat of mascara. This one primer, this one not. So that's what it looks like. Let's see if we can uh, tell a difference by looking this way. So this is the non-primed side. And this is the primed side. I don't know you guys, so far I'm liking the primed side a little bit better. So let's go in with a second coat of mascara like I usually do. Okay, I can definitely see a big difference with that second coat of mascara on there. It definitely looks thicker, longer. I don't usually go in with two coats on the bottom, so I'm not gonna do that, but I am gonna go in on this side with another coat so we can see what it looks like. Okay, you guys, make sure and tell me what you think down below, but I really do think that the primed side looks better than the not primed side. I think that it looks thicker at the base, and I think that the lashes in general look longer, which is exactly what this claim to do. So, so far, I am very, very impressed. So let's just go in for my final coat, just a very, very light top coat of waterproof mascara, just so that they don't smudge throughout the day. That is gonna be something that I'm very interested to know if those little fibers throughout the day are going to fall out of my lashes. But hopefully with three coats of mascara, that doesn't happen. But I am gonna just put a little bit of mascara, especially on the very tips of the lashes, just to be sure. Just a little bit on the tips of the lashes, cause I do have slightly hooded eyes, so my lashes sometimes touch the top and they cause smudging and I don't like that. Okay, so this is the final product after two coats of mascara, one coat of very light waterproof mascara. 
I honestly like the primed side better right now, which is surprising me that I like it so much more because I didn't really see like that much when I was first putting on the primer. But now that mascara is on top of it, I can really see a difference. Okay guys, so I am just going to go throughout my day. We will see how the primed side does compared to my not primed side. It is 12.31 in the afternoon right now. So we're just gonna hang out throughout the day. It's pretty hot outside, so I might get a little sweaty. We will see, but yeah, so we'll see how this wears and I will check back in with you guys in a couple of hours. <laughs> Just, just lay in here <laughs> like this. Very weird. Looking for a suitcase for Blake because he has a business trip coming up. Oh yeah, look at that swivel. Mm -hmm. Love it. <laughs> Did you find a winner? I think so. Yeah, I like this one. Just big enough. Not for me. Expandable. <laughs> It's, uh, it's really hot inside TJ Maxx right now. It's bringing us flashbacks of our apartment AC not working two days ago. <laughs> it's horrible, it's traumatic. I need to get out of here now. <laughs> the line here is always freaking insane, but at least it goes fast. That's a pretty badass license plate on a badass car. <laughs> if you've never had Paradise Cafe cookies, they are one of the best. Man, you really might know what it's like to sing the blues. Man, you really might know what it's like. You excited that we're home? You dancing? You, you dancing? dancing? You excited we're home? <laughs> we were only gone for maybe 45 minutes. <laughs> bring it back, bring it back. Bring it back. So real quickly, I just wanted to check in with you guys. It is now three o'clock in the afternoon. So it's been three and a half, no, two and a half hours since I've had this on. So let's zoom in and I'll show you guys what's going on. So for some reason, this eye has been watering a lot today. Um, I'm not sure why, but the non-primed eye is like totally fine. And this eye, you can see like some of the mascara has started smudging on my top of my lashes here um it started smudging on the lower lash line here like it's smudging quite a bit and i don't really know if it's because of the primer like bothering my eyes which it very well could be or if it's because just this eye sometimes waters i don't know it just depends on the day um sometimes this eye waters it really just depends but usually i don't have this kind of a watery issue unless it's a product that irritates my eyes so that's kind of worrying me a little bit but it kind of makes me want to try this product again another day so I might have to do this for this review but so far this is not looking good on the side that has the tinted primer so I'm just gonna wipe it with a q-tip really quickly and try to get the excess off of here but it's really bad it like really really flaked a lot on that primed side. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to fix it very easily, if it's gonna look good. Ugh, that does not look good. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna try and fix this eye as best as I can, and I will be back with you guys again in another, another couple of hours. I've tried to say that three times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know I said only a couple of hours, but I just thought of something else. I'm literally like minutes after just filming that last clip tried to fix this and the fact that my eye is so watery like eyeshadow is sticking in all the wrong places. But something that I wanted to mention is that it also feels like there's something in my eye. Like it has felt like that for most of the day. So I'm wondering if maybe the fibers of the primer have gotten in my eye and that's what's been causing it to water all day. And I mean, I follow the directions exactly how they said so I really feel like this should not be happening so I'm thinking that that is probably why my eye is watering so bad but I am gonna go ahead and test this out one more day other than today and see if it works better for me because right now it's not working well for me <laughs> so this video will not be over here we are going to uh, skip over to future Vienna I don't know what she thinks right now but we're gonna skip over to her and let her take on with this review because today didn't go so well but we're gonna try it again one week later 
Okay, you guys, so it is just over a week of me testing out the Colossal Big Shot Primer for the first time, and I have good news for you guys. I think that the reason that my eye was watering must have just been something in the air or my allergies or something, because I have tested this out numerous times since. I have tested it on my opposite eye to see if maybe it was just like just irritating one eye or anything like that. I have tried it on both of my eyes also, and it has not done that to me since that day so I think that it was really just something in the air or just my eyes sometimes just get irritated like that in water so I didn't want to blame the product if it wasn't the product's fault and I have good news that it wasn't the product's fault and that I actually really like this primer I do have it on again today on my top lashes and then I have two coats of Maybelline lash sensational on top and I feel like my lashes look a million miles long right now they look so so pretty this really 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 I think helps a lot with length and it is called the colossal big shot tinted primer and it has volume in the title which honestly I don't really feel like this gives a lot more volume I feel like the L'Oreal voluminous lash primer gives more volume I feel like the Lancome Sills booster gives more volume but I do feel like this gives quite a bit of length and I really like the fact that it's black so I would say if L'Oreal came out with a black version of their tinted primer like that would probably be my holy grail because I love that one so much but the fact that this one is black does give it a little bit more like push for me to use it because I really like the fact that you don't have to cover up the white part of this but the little fibers again they do kind of scare me they have gotten in my eye once or twice not while I'm wearing the mascara because once I put like another coat on top of it it seals it all in there so it's not really that kind of problem but while I'm applying it I have noticed that once or twice I have gotten it in my eye and had to kind of get it out really quickly but other than that I I like this I think for nine dollars I believe was how much this was that it's it's worth a try if you like tinted uh, primer bases for mascara. I, I, I'm going to use it up and I like it. So I wouldn't say it's holy grail for me or anything like that, but I wouldn't say that I hate it either. So that's kind of my thoughts on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to show some love to the like button right down here and if you subscribe, you can remember my me as family and I love you guys so, so much. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.